ones today I'm gonna start the video from the floor because I've got a parcel from Ikea and my cat's actually if I can show you she's actually sitting on it right now she loves it so basically I have a boiler cupboard that I want to reorganize and basically everything's on the floor and I'll show you the before and after of it but basically at the minute everything's everywhere and it's not very well organized I tried to go to Ikea a couple months ago to get uh, some shelves but they didn't have them and they haven't had it in stock for ages so I managed to uh, order them online and it's just come and that's this is it Ahí está so when I got the box, I was like, this is bigger than I expected because I didn't order it that much and the shelves are quite small in a way. So it's got a lot of this in it. So I'm gonna get things out and show you what I got. So the first thing is this box here, which we already have one uh, of them and we quite like it. And this is Mimi. Uh, we have another one already. And what we do is put Mimi's food uh, in here like her wet food pouches they fit perfectly and that way you can keep it off the side and if we have the uh, underfloor heating in this room which we don't at the minute but if we wanted to put it on then we don't have to keep it on the floor it just looks cuter on these so yeah one of them the next thing is these two uh, candle holders they're just glass candle holders and my uh, boyfriend's mom, fiance's mom, uh, she gifted us a candle and it's one of those that it doesn't come in a container it's just the candle itself so I bought these two um, ones just in case we have another one or whatever it is I just bought two of them then the next thing is the actual shelves that I wanted to buy uh, I've got two of them so this is one of them they're just £15 each so actually because they're quite small and like thin, a bit flimsy. It looks on the website, but I don't know. So they're not too expensive. If they don't work out for whatever reason, then it's not a huge loss. But it's the only thing because it's a small space and we also want to put like other stuff in there. It's basically the only shelf that I found in all the websites that I've looked at that actually fits that space. So hopefully it works. The next thing is just a hand towel because in the bathroom like we didn't have like a proper hand towel for when you wash your hands We just had like our normal towels. So yeah, not that anyone's coming here at any point soon But yeah, just a really cheap hand towel. So for that towel then we got the uh, holders for it We've got a similar one or the same one in the bathroom already outside the shower for it like a longer towel and stuff So we thought we'd buy the same one just for the hand towel and the last thing is just the milk frother. This is just one pound and I think it's so cheap I might as well just buy it. And last time we went they didn't have them um, in the shop so there we go. So Mimi's found uh, a new house. Um, she's gonna live in the box now I guess. Okay I'm gonna see if I can build these up and I'll show you when they're ready. So these are the ones that I bought and it's two of them so then you can stack one on top of the other. got one up so now I've got another one left so here they are one on top of the other excuse all the mess and stuff but now it's moment of truth see if they actually work so here's the before basically it's just a boiler cupboard we've got stuff piled up and stuff on the floor the vacuum still needs to go in here so basically the shelves will go there but I don't know how that's gonna conflict with everything but basically this is the before So I'm a bit out of breath, but here we are. The shelves are in and they fit perfectly. There's still a bit of a gap here and then we can access that through it. So that's fine, that we don't really touch. So it's okay, but even then, like it's still quite accessible. So that's a success. Now I just need to fill them. So I basically put everything that I had on top of that and all that over here. I've got cat stuff, so like litter, uh, bags and uh, carpet cleaner over there. That one's almost empty, there's just some bin bags, that was almost empty as well. Kitchen roll, more kitchen products and that's empty as well. I can move that across to access that in the back. And then I also moved it to this side so I can put that mop behind that quite flat on it. So that's quite good and then there's still room to put the vacuum cleaner there. 
perfect. It's so much cleaner. I'm so happy with it. And then I've got this thing with bags which you can actually stick on the wall, but actually I'm just gonna put it on the floor for now. And we could actually put shelves up, but the thing is, as you can see, there's like pipes and stuff going through it, so I don't wanna make a hole and then there's a pipe and that breaks and all that stuff. So for now, that up there will be empty, but of course there's some room there if we wanted to do more, but quite happy with that. I'm super happy with how that turned out. Um, we've been, I've been wanting to do that for months and months and my boyfriend was always like, let's leave it for later, let's do, don't do it now. Like he never, he's not as interested in like organization stuff and all that, but I'm just quite happy that I actually decided to go ahead and buy the stuff and just get it all done myself because I'm so happy there's so much more room now. And obviously having a two bedroom flat, like we don't have amounts of space everywhere. So it's quite good that, you know, we've unlocked some space there and I'm really really happy that I've done it. If you guys like this sort of videos with like home stuff, like organization, decoration, all that stuff, let me know in the comments and I can do more of that sort of type. But that's gonna be everything for today. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment below and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later with another video, hopefully with more air, because I can't really breathe. <laughs> Bye.